Hey everyone, it's Delor again with another Pirates Combos video. Today we're going to be talking about cargo spaces and what is the largest ship cargo hold that you can have in the game. So we're going to definitely go through these ships that you have here and some key uh, abilities are going to be Cargo Master. So that's going to pretty quickly limit us in what ships that we can look at. So let's start with Dark Hawk 2. Now this is a Spanish main ship uh, that's pretty good in and of itself with the cannons that it has and the fact that it is 10 points for 8 cargo. So this is a really flexible ship to be able to do a hybrid build of either going for treasure or uh, going for sinking other ships. Now the drawback here is this ship's base move becomes S when it reaches the cargo limit. So that means that you're really only going to want to fill it up to 7. Now, pirates don't have any cargo masters, so that's going to limit how much crew we can put on. However, they do have one crew that I don't have that allows you to add one cargo space, and it doesn't take up any cargo space. So we can essentially get Dark Hawk up to nine cargo spaces. So this is our honorable mention. Uh, it's not going to be able to go very high. So the next one that we have is the Frontier. Now, this one technically could have the largest in the game because of the generic Cargo Master. And Americans are the only ones that have a generic Cargo Master. And based on the way the, the rules work, you can actually put as many Cargo Masters on other ships as you want, and they will all stack their cargo onto this one. So you have eight base cargo, and then let's say that you had ten other ships with ten other Cargo Masters, you could get up to 18 cargo. That's not really entirely practical because if you had 10 ships with cargo masters on them, you'd be paying at least 100 points just to get 10 more cargo on the frontier. So I'm going to call this my second place, and uh, this is for non-10 masted ships. We'll get to those almost as a separate section. Uh, in all practicality, uh, they only have the cargo masters that will increase the cargo. They don't have any plus one cargo space uh, crew that they can use as well. And the winner for the uh, most cargo spaces that a, a regular ship can have is La Hoya del Sol. And that is a 12-point um, Spanish main ship with eight cargo spaces. Now its cannons are terrible, but it does move pretty quickly. And because the Spanish also have a named cargo master, Master Bianco, uh, you can put him on some other Spanish ship, so um, he'll allow other Spanish ships of the same nationality to get plus one cargo spaces. So that's one cargo space on there, so we're up to nine. And then um, you can use another crew, but I'm going to choose Dominic Freda because he also has a built-in ability that'll be beneficial. So this ship gets plus one cargo spaces, this crew takes up no cargo space, and he's an explorer. So now we're up to 10 cargo spaces on La Hoya del Sol, and we have an explorer. So you have 10 cargo spaces to be able to put treasure or crew on. Um, you do only have 8 points left on the ship, so you're not going to want to put a lot of crew on there. Uh, and its cannons are not very good, but as far as being able to haul treasure, you might even be able to go to two islands before you have to go back to your home island. So this is our first place non-10 masted ship with 10 cargo. So keep that in mind that we're starting with 10 cargo. Now when we bring in a 10 masted ship, Bautron, it has 10 cargo just off the bat. And that's a lot of cargo to contend with. Now the treasure ship ability allows crew to not take up cargo spaces when placed on the ship. However you still observe the point limit. So we're going to abuse that a little bit, and we start with 10 cargo spaces, and then we have a link from Admiral Zheng He, and he's linked to the Baochuan. Links generate plus one cargo spaces. So now we have 11 cargo spaces. We've used up only six of our points. So we're going to just try and stuff as many Jade Rebellion crew as we can on there and push the cargo limit as high as we can. Now I don't have all the Jade Rebellion crew that we're going to use, but we're going to start with Dragon Eyes. Dragon Eyes is a 10 point crew. You'll notice he has a link to the Nameless and he doesn't take up cargo space so it doesn't really matter what how many crew we put on this ship. So we put the Nameless on there, that's another 4 points. Gets us another cargo space. So we're up to 12. 
And then we also have um, Shaping Sai, which is a crew I don't have. He's linked to all Jade Rebellion ships, so that gets us another cargo space. And then we have Chang, who is on the back of this card, and he's linked to uh, Chang Pao. Uh, Chang Pao is linked to Miss Chang, and uh, it says this ship gets plus one to her cannon rolls against any non Jade Rebellion ships. So this is even a really good crew to have on the ship, uh, in and above everything else. And then when we put Ms. Chang on there, she is a zero point crew that becomes linked to another crew on the ship when you place her on the ship. So she's a limit uh, re-roller. And so now we have Chang, Pao is linked to Ms. Chang, that's a cargo space. You have uh, the Nameless is linked to Dragon Eyes, and that's a cargo space. You have Shepping Sai and Ms. Chang, each of those giving another cargo space. And then you have Admiral Zheng He himself giving you another cargo space. So, if you're tracking along, that means that this ship has a total of 15 cargo spaces, and we've spent 29 out of the 30 points on this ship. So for 59 points, we've managed to put 15 cargo spaces onto one ship. Is that really practical? Not really. Uh, if you look at a crew like Dragon Eyes, we don't really want to pay, pay 10 points for this ability. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to, to work with in, in a low point game. Um, so, what about other 10 Masta Junks? Most of the other ones don't start out with 10 cargo, so they're not going to be in first place. Now, if we look at uh, the, the Gishuan, it does start out with 10 cargo spaces. I don't have the Gishuan, so I'm not going to show it here, but briefly, it has 10 cargo spaces. However, uh, there's nowhere near as many links uh, that you can get. Uh, I take that back. There's probably quite a few links that you can get on there. Um, however, you're going to very quickly push your point limit on that. Um, I had just Davy Jones and Sammy the Skull from Fire and Steel, and the Davy Jones is from Ed Ocean's Edge. Um, both of those are linked to all cursed ships. And then you could start pairing off crew that are in the cursed faction that are low points and linked to each other to push that cargo limit higher. Um, so you'll, you might be able to get a higher cargo limit, uh, but there are a lot of expensive cursed crew. Uh, and I don't have the Gishuan to be able to show that off. But I did at least want to point out that both the Baochuan and the Gishuan have this treasure ship ability that allow crew to not take up cargo space, and then you abuse as many links as you can onto the ship to boost the cargo space. And finally, this is not really practical, because again, you're spending a lot of points just to get an extra cargo space. Now, some of these abilities are pretty useful, um, but the Nameless on the Bauchuan is pretty useless. Getting plus one to your boarding rolls when you've already got a 10, uh, nobody's going to be able to beat that unless they have some unique treasures or a lot of anti-boarding roll stacks that are going on there. Um, and then if you look at something like uh, Chang Pao, his ability is fantastic for a ship like this. Being able to get plus one to your cannon rolls against any non-Jade ship uh, there's very few jade ships in the game, so that's almost always going to give you plus one to your cannon rolls. Alright, so for next time, we're going to do something a little bit different. And we're going to find the Carolina, which is from the Pirates of the Revolution, and we're going to try and get it to have its schooner keyword back. So if we look at the Carolina, you can see that it has no schooner keyword, and it's a schooner type. So how do you think we're going to do that? Tune in next time to find out.